over here in the third part. So Rohi travels 300 kilometers, partly by train and partly by bus. So this is the long distance she has to cover from point A to point B. And I don't know how much uh, from the 300 kilometers she is going to travel by train and some part by bus. She takes she takes four hours to travel 60 kilometers by train and remaining by bus. They have mentioned over there. So yeah. 60 kilometers by train. So from here to let's say 60 kilometers something here. So this becomes my train journey. So what will be the remaining journey? How much? 240. 240 kilometers by bus. About 300 in the... Yes. Now, if she travels... Now the question is if. That means this is a second question. If she travels 100 kilometers by train, the remaining by bus, she takes 10 minutes longer. Okay. So basically, there are two cases over here. Yes or no? Yes. So what do we need to find? Speed of the train and the bus. So first thing we will do, let, let, let speed of train be at x kilometer per hour. And uh, let speed of bus be y kilometer. Okay. So, and we know that speed equals to distance upon time. Okay. And they have given our uh, us the total time. The total time in the first case was four, four hours. So when they have given us total time, so we need to find out time. So time formula becomes distance upon speed. So we will calculate time for train. So how much time she took on train? What was the distance covered in train? 60. 60. Upon um, what is the speed of the train? That is x. Make sense? Yes. Now, time for bus. 240. 245. And this is, both the cases are in hours. Because we are considering speed in kilometer per hour. Therefore, according to the question, 60 upon x plus 240 upon y equals to 4. Is this thing clear? Yes. And in the second question, second uh condition, they are saying mm -hmm. she traveled till 100 kilometers in train. So what is the distance covered in bus? 200. And what is the total time taken? Total time. They take minutes longer, so 250. 250. How do they? Four hours plus four You are hours considering hours. minutes. Yes. See, if four you are going in minutes, then you have to convert whole question in minutes. Okay. And generally speed is in kilometer per hour. So what you said is four hours equals to four into sixty. 240 minutes. Yes or no? Yes. 
online you can get uh, those questions in the description box to practice any doubt on this no 